know that you're not squatting with the kettlebell and you're not doing this motion, okay? This is kettlebells, this is swings, not squats. So always behind the knee, knee level. Box your squat down, snap kick out. But I modified just because you're stuck at work, traveling around, and your gym does not have a kettlebell doesn't mean you can't train with us. Hand switch, jab, cross, switch, hand switch. First 30 seconds, regular pace, easiest plyometric of the day today. So as I turn, turn, I jump back and up. I don't think about how hard this is. I'm thinking about my abs. You see, the kettlebell is evenly distributed right across the leg. And as she squats back, she's not going too far with that knee. That's very important. We get a little faster for the next few seconds. Cover, cover, jab, cross, right up. Cover, cover, jab, cross. Total body's working. Cardio's coming up. And we're switching. Synchronizing the body, falling from four. I'm feeling the abs recruiting all the muscles. Cardio's racing, body's scorching. Just all about pushing through, making a difference in the training, really maximizing the time here. Too much here, it's just a natural bend and right up, natural bend, right up. So watch the girls as they do this. What's your feeling there, Mary? Feeling the glutes as she comes down, making sure we're also training beautiful arms, but you're on the toe. If you have poor balance, first time doing it, you might want to have these little fingers here for support, and then you just pop up on the full foot, transfer down, all the way down for just a second. Pop up right away, back with the other foot, hand down. I want to feel it too, right there, burning the calories and making the body more efficient through each motion. Keep it going. Real people, real motions, real things and down overhead. Really fast and efficient. Balance is challenged, and balance is a big portion of your motor skills. My office chair, the back pain. As long as you come down nice for that deadlift, let's see it. Look about three feet in front of you, right back, stiff in the back, landing your strip, really strong and long. You're gonna go ahead and create a lot of strength in the back. The cardio, but it's not too hard. It's not too difficult. Nothing is too difficult. Diane's doing modifieds. Sarah's feeling good. And then just maintain with these halos. You might also start in sumo, and then it might get really tight, so you'll pop back up and finish either with a boxer halo. Leg is up each time. Then you can add a little bit of a thruster. Sarah's doing it too. She wants her arms. Pull back when you're ready and drop. That fast. Really gauging and exploding the glute right when I come up. That one's just there for a reference point helping you. Over time, I want that leg to come up, just like so, and back down. Perfect. This is a little added bonus for the leg, right? Back, modified or not modified, dumbbell or kettlebell, the knee is strong, and it's a shorter lunge. Right, right. left, left, right. Just really working my core here. Go ahead and you pretend to have the kettlebell each time as you come up, back, hand down hand through. Couple decisions. Am I going slow and steady, fast and strong? Think about how I look, what I train. Scoop it up, bring the hand up. This hand's two options. If you know it, get it going. Turkish set up left side. I'm up. Hand on down. I'm going to do a couple just with the ladies. I'm going to give you a little reminder of the modification. Clear the knee and sit and come up all the way. I'm going to do a couple with you because I want to feel the pressure in the lumbar. So if you find it and Blue doesn't have it, any arches, what you're gonna do for me is bend the legs, have the kettlebell, and just do this regular sit up. Okay? Right here. That and right up. So you might say to me, no way. Impossible, not happening. Big problem there is there's no such thing as impossibility.